Hello and welcome to Loz Mixing once again and today we are making one of my favourite dishes ever and a food that I love and a place that I really want to go hint hint um, your guess Mexico Arriba! I love Mexican food everything about it and it was one of the first foods like, I completely tried making from scratch because I think when you're passionate about something you just want to make it like the best you can and you're more inclined to experiment so I'm making the good old fashioned but never gets old chili con carne basically these are the ingredients we got chili, garlic, onion Stuck cube lime, tomatoes, kidney beans, coriander, red pepper or whatever colour and beef mints, the sour cream and guacamole for later. Right, onions in. Garlic, peeled. One garlic clove, chopped. 500 grams of mint. Now why the mint is getting a bit brown, sweating out. Add your spices because chili always needs spices throughout the process. So paprika, a big tablespoon of that because that's the main ingredient. About half a teaspoon of powdered coriander because remember we've got fresh coriander. Pinch of cumin seeds, my favourite thing ever. Oh, just a little bit of smell of cumin. Okay, I put about three small pinches in, but if you don't like it as cuminy as me, put one or two pinches in. Oregano, oregano, pepper, of course. Quite a lot. Salt, a few twists of that, and what I call canyon pepper, give those up. Canyon, it's K9 or whatever it is, you know what I mean though. And that will give it a nice sweet hotness. And mix all that in, and that will really marinate the meat whites, turn it from pink to brown. Right, so that is pretty much brown now, and it smells divine. So I'm going to put my peppers in. And you don't want the meat to sweat, you want it to fry. So keep the heat quite high without obviously burning everything. Put my chilies in. Too hot, too spicy. Okay. And then whack my chopped coriander. I've got a handful of that in. And then at the end, I'll probably sprinkle some more on the top. Mix that and just let the peppers soften. And that's what it should look like with the peppers, chilies, onions, and coriander. Mm -mm. Right, so as you've seen, everything's in there. Now I'm going to put my tin tomatoes. And if you need any more water, like I've said in previous videos, keep the tin and put normal water in the tin so it's just got a little bit of tomato in it and it'll help along the recipe. Now I'm going to put a squeeze of lime in. And that's pretty much full half lime. And I'm going to get my stock ready now. Beef stock, one cube of stock or little gel thing of stock. Whack that in with all the beautiful ingredients. Make sure you get it all out. And just give it a good old stir. Lovely jubbly. Bring it to the boil. And then once it's gone to the boil, we'll turn it down, let it simmer, put the lid on, and voila! Lid is on and it's going to simmer now for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, but do keep checking on it because you don't want it to stick because nobody likes burnt chilli. So keep an eye on it and then we're going to come back and we're going to put the beans on. Bring on the beans! So, took off the lid after 20 to 25 minutes. Thick, moist, juicy chilli. Ready to go. Nearly. Drain my kidney beans. 
plug them in. Stirry, stirry. And then they will soak up like the remaining moisture. So if you think your chili looks a tad watery, then the kidney beans do that job of like any excess moisture. They soak it up and make it really thick. And I keep going to say thick and creamy, but chili isn't creamy. Thick and delicious, maybe. So now you let it simmer again, bring it to the boil. And then as soon as it boils, turn it down to simmer. And this time without the lid. So leave the lid there and let any excess juice evaporate. And then what we'll do, we'll taste it and season it even more. So it's beautiful, spicy and Mexican. The kidney beans are now soft. But you've always got to re-season chilli because basically it needs to be re-seasoned. So the light's a bit dodgy today. Tasty, tasty. So a bit more paprika, salt, and you know what? Oregano because we need it in our lard. And it's spicy enough. But what I also like to do, if you've got any ketchup or tomato puree, like two tablespoons of that, and brown sugar. So the brown Demira sugar is all, if you've watched a few of my vlogs now, you'll know it's favorite. Now with chili, you can put a cube of dark chocolate, a few cubes of dark chocolate in, but I haven't got any in, because I'm not the biggest fan of dark chocolate, so sugar and a few squares of tomato ketchup is always good for me and it just brings a bit of the sweetness out and there we go I forgot to put some more pepper in and then just to let that stand for 10-15 minutes let it really marinate come together and be tasty as ever now the thing with chili is the more it stands the better it is so if you can let it stand for like at least an hour you're on to a winner can't wait to have it later i've already a uh, bloody bag of tortilla chips so i can't wait to make my guacamole and get down to it with the burrito queen Oh my god, cheer. I was thinking before, I've not been a gig in ages. Leave the lid on while you let it stand and box your uncle. Um, but the thing is with chili, just season it and just keep tasting it because I can't tell you what it needs more of because you might have added more paprika or less cumin or more coriander so it's all about training your taste buds and you're on to a winner chicken dinner or chili dinner shall I say Thank you.